Alright guys, so I'm back working on my log splitter project. It's come along. It's been a while since I worked on it. I got the crane mounted. Got the head mounted. I had to take the winter off. So there you're looking at it. Got the valve just temporar temporarily mounted. Tanks on. I'm mounting the motor now. And I've got the Predator, which I did a video on that earlier. And I got my plates built to mount it. What I'm doing is I, I drilled my holes and I'm going to use some, these are some rubber grommets, vibra vibration isolators. I just got them at an auction somewhere. And so I'm going to put those down. Then I've got, I found a, a plate, stainless steel plate here. I'm going to put it in between. And so basically I'm making a vibration, not really isolator, but cushion, um, to bolt that motor down. And what that's doing is, because these motor bases down here are aluminum, and there we go. That motor base there is aluminum, and I've seen if you hard bolt them to another piece of metal, that they can crack out over time. So I'm giving it a little wiggle room with these rubber donuts. So we're going to mount that motor up, and I'll show it to you when it's done. All right, so here's the engine mounted. Get her in there. Here's how I got it bolted down to this plate here. And then under there, you see them as the rubber washers. And then our base, base plate. I use Nylox bolts with washers and lock washers. And so now she's sitting there, ready for me to start doing the plumbing on the hydraulics. So I got the valve mounted and the hosing piping done. Um, this is a, the valve is a log splitter valve I got off of eBay. All the piping, the hydraulic hosing, just stuff I had left over and taken off other machines. Um, I had to do some step downs to get to half inch, which that'll carry 22 gallons a minute. Uh, put a filter in down here. And again, just something I took off another machine. So some of my hoses are way oversized. That's what I had. I've got my pump in. This is the only new hose I had to buy right here. I just couldn't find one that would fit. Um, that's my uh, return line. And I've still got to hook up my suction. Well, let's see. Now that's my suction line. And I got to hook up my uh, output right there. And we're going to build a cage around the motor to protect it and a cover. So if something flies off, it don't damage the motor. So she's getting there. Uh, still got a little painting to do. Working on the crane. Uh, going to put a winch right there. Uh, so she's almost finished. Got the cage over the motor mocked up, welded up. And then again, just made it out of stuff laying around the shop. Um, I put a little thing to protect my oil cooler a little bit better right here. And we got a door so we can get to the air filter. So we can clean the air filter and service the engine there. Um, we got it up under here so we can reach under here and do the key. Turn the engine on and off. Um, I may relocate that, but right now we can get to it. Uh, so right now just sandblast it and paint it and we're there uh, that should protect the engine from a flying log which has been known to happen uh, it don't look too bad kind of rednecked and we'll get that painted <laughs> 